That's it. That's all you got. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Colton, Bear Scare Beauty, back again. And today, uh, I'm going to continue on the insect theme that I've been doing. I'm not going to do something super the same, but it's also not going to be super different. You'll see. I got this idea because I think it was Veyron Rao, uh, one of my subscribers on YouTube, suggested the Atlas Moth. So that's what I'm going to do today. I really think Atlas Moths are beautiful. They have a lot of like rusty orange reds to their coloring and then some like nice mustard yellows and then white as well. Uh, they're a really interesting looking giant moth. Uh, I mean, there are some pictures of them when they're like that big and like unexaggeratingly just huge. Uh, really pretty, very cool. So I'm just going to take some basics from that and put it on my face. And we're gonna see how that goes. I'm gonna get you guys in a little closer and we're gonna do that. I have the camera real close to my face right now. It's like inches away from my face. Gonna get my mic a little closer to my mouth so you can hear me when I whisper gently into your ear. I really wanna make sure that I'm recording in audacity. Is this going to be an A? Kind of same as always, I'm really trying to pan this since it's like kind of the one one that I have, whereas I have multiple shades of other ones that I can use on other people. This is kind of mine. NYX, Born to Glow, I like it. Okay, cool. Now that I have the base all done, I'm just going to powder this real quick. I'm going to use the Maybelline 0.5. And I'm just kind of taking whatever's left on the brush and I'm just stamping it in. Now that we have our base down, I'm just using this as something to blend on top of and kind of make it look more cohesive, right? Uh, I feel like if you do not have foundation on and you're doing something like what I'm going to do today, it just doesn't look super cohesive. Now I have a reference on screen for what the Atlas Moth looks like, and like I said, it's got a lot of uh, like rusty orange reds and some mustardy yellows and then some white and a little bit of black in there too. So I think it's going to be a really cool look that I should hopefully be able to make relatively cohesive. We're gonna try. I have an idea of what I'm gonna do. It's going to be similar to what I did last time with the Morpho Butterfly, but different. It's not going to be as defined. I think a good jumping off point, I'm going to use Regular. Uh, this is Regular or Regular in the Modern Renaissance palette. And I think that's going to be what I use to kind of outline the shape that I'm going for. But I'm gonna put it down pretty softly, so I'm going to be using. I'm just going to be using a blending brush to do that. Dipping in, I understand these are unbelievably pigmented, and I'm going to start on this side. I'm keeping it kind of horn-shaped, almost like a... Almost like if you were doing drag and like doing another eyebrow, but I'm not going to block out my eyebrows for this. I'm just going to keep working and blending that out though. I'm dipping back in and I'm building it out because I do want to be pretty opaque. I should not drink before doing these. Full disclosure, since I might be sick, uh, I don't generally drink. I haven't been drunk drunk in maybe two years. I've gotten a little tipsy here and there. But I'm bored as shit, y'all. Being sick has not deterred me from wanting to just get fucked. Cheers, love. Dipping back into a little bit of regular again, and I'm just gonna start building that up a little lower. And I'm gonna kind of keep it towards this middle part here. And then I'm going to work on kind of blending it outwards. Now that 
that I have the basic shape done on top, I'm gonna blend out the edges a little bit. I'm just going to take this is a this is a more orange. This is out of the NYX Earth palette, but it's a lot more orange than burnt orange in the Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm going to take a very big fluffy brush. I'm just going to dip in gently, tap off, and I'm just going to use that to kind of gently buff out the edges, all the edges. And I'm going to take that orange shade and I'm actually going to blow it out a lot, like a lot more than Nuri is. Now that I got it uh, blended a little more, I'm going to take that smaller blending brush, dip back into regular, and I'm just going to kind of reinforce some of the areas and then try to blend it out a little more. I'm not looking for a super seamless blend between these two colors, uh, because I'm actually going to put a border of like a darker brown. If you look at the Atlas Moth, you'll see what I mean. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to do something here. I'm going to take the orange, and I'm going to start working it in right here. I'm almost making like what would be a... like a winged eyeliner shape right here with the brush, but there's no product there, obviously. I'm gonna marry these two together. The brown is challenging. Because on the moth, the brown is kind of bordering some of the color. We're gonna take a small paddle brush, Dipping into Bad Liar uh, from the BH Cosmetics Alicia Marie Collaboration Palette. It's a very pigmented shade. And I'm just going to kind of make a little barrier. And then I'm going to blend it upwards. So I'm going to try to keep it pretty fine. take a little precision blending brush and I'm gonna start blending that upwards I'm just gonna go about uh, reinforcing bad liar a little bit and blending that out more Now the thing with the Atlas Moth is on the brown into like the lighter orange, there's not, it's not blended. It's a pretty harsh line. I just, I want some form of gradation. I think that's about what I'm going for blend-wise. I'm gonna take uh, just a clean, really fluffy blending brush, and I'm just kind of going over this outer part. Honestly, this Wet n Wild brush is one of the best, like, large, just fluffy blending brushes I've ever used. It's really fluffy, it's really nice, it's not cheap feeling, and I think it blends really well, so looking to spend a dollar on a brush, here you go. Now they have, uh, I'm gonna take an angled blending brush, and I'm going to dip into Karma. This is out of that BH palette again. And I'm just gonna start hitting the edge of that, like, orange, and, uh, this is pretty pigmented. But they have, like, a nice 
yellow sun flare effect? I don't know. It's... I like it. It's pretty. So we're gonna do that. I'm not gonna hit it all over the place. I'm more gonna, like, keep it focused towards the top. And then, like, push it a little down. Dipping back into Karma, and I'm gonna kind of pat it on up top here, and then just blend it down. Take Big Fluffy Boy again, really saturate it in that orange, and I'm really gonna like, blend up top here with that mustard yellow, and then blend it down. gonna take that orange and I'm just gonna kind of like bring it into I guess contour yeah I guess I'm just gonna contour with it gonna blend out the edges of that brown a little bit more and by blend I do just mean aggressively scrub my face with a broad there's no rules Taking Karma. And I'm gonna kind of work it into the contour, but then also up onto like my cheek. I'm gonna take a big dome top brush. This is what I usually use to blush. And I'm just gonna kind of sweep it, what I've already got down, just to soften a little bit and then blend it together with that orange. I'm also going to dip into Karma on that brush, and I'm just going to use it as blush like I would normally. This is what I would use as a contouring brush, but I'm actually going to use it to kind of just gently buff out the edge of that, because I need something a little stiffer to kind of really get that diffused look from that pigment. Okay. Once again, since I've been blending over that, I've kind of blended away bad habit. I'm going to try to reinforce that. Not enough on the cheek though, so I think I'm going to build up that orange a lot more, and then the karma a lot more. Very cool. I like it. Now I'm gonna actually do on my eye. That's English, isn't it? Going to take black. Again, this is the Buxom Black. This is just like a definer brush. It's really fine. Um, I kind of like it more than like an eyeliner brush for this. I don't really know why, but I do. So we're going to use that. And I'm going to basically just outline my eye. It's fine if it's not perfect because I am going to clean it up. So I just have this definition around my eye, right? I'm gonna fill this in with white. And then what I'm gonna do, they have this like, they have like a white border right here, like on the inner side of the brown, and then it's also like a black border. I have my Marone Paradise Paints uh, in white, and then I also have black. It's just a water activated paint. You can really use anything you would like for this. I just like water activated paint for obvious reasons because it's easy to clean up. Firstly, for the white, I'm just going to take a synthetic brush, kind of work it into a lather on the brush. It's a synthetic brush, you don't have to worry too much about it. Then 
And I'm just going to try to carve that out as best I can. Try to maintain the shape of that eyeliner. fine if it's not perfect. I'm gonna take a little fine brush, gonna dip into that white, and I'm just gonna hit all the corners and details that I missed. Excuse me while I really concentrate. I'm gonna let that dry down for a moment. This is another detailing brush. I'm going to take the black. It's a little bit of a thicker detailing brush, so I'm just going to be very careful, and I'm just going to reinforce the black a little bit. I've concentrated on something in a long while. So, I got that all cut out. And then I'm just gonna go around and I'm going to on this side of the orange do a little black line. And then on the other side of the brown do some white. Yeah, something like that. Let it dry down for a second. Gonna take that white brush again. Gonna go on the other side of the brown and basically do the same thing. And I'm gonna take it on the back and kind of flick it up since there's like a little more spread on the white than on the black. Something like that. Since my eyes crease like hell, I'm uh, gonna take some glitter glue and I'm just gonna go all over my eye with it. I'm gonna take just a little bullet brush. I'm going to dip into it's this really pretty, like shimmering white that I have from Buxom, and I'm just gonna pack that all over. Kinda went a little bit out of bounds with that, so I'm just gonna take the black shadow again, and I'm just gonna... I'm gonna take a separate, bigger paddle brush, I'm gonna dip into regular again, and I'm just gonna pack it on this inner part, because I, I really want, like, a lot of payoff right here. side of my eye off camp. I'll be right back.
Alright, uh, I am back. I ended up doing a lot more off-camera than I said I would. Uh, I ended up contouring a lot more. I added these little bits in and these little bits in. Uh, I just thought it gave it a more graphic look overall. I'm not done yet though. I'm gonna put lips on. Uh, this is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Amazonian. It's like this nice kind of terracotta brown. I really hope my camera is not freaking the fuck out. Mm. They smell great too. It smells like melted chocolate. keep it this kind of weird round mouth shape and I'm gonna take a little foundation and just kind of clean up the edges a little bit and kind of make the rest of my lips disappear. I think it's gonna give it an interesting effect overall with this look. There we have it! This is the Atlas Moth. Um, yeah, I actually... Just my camera. Uh, I actually dig the hell out of the way this turned out. I really like it. I think it's super graphic. It's kind of weird and interesting. It's a little asymmetrical too. Uh, I really enjoyed this. Uh, I'm just gonna do like a little weird montage -y shot real quick. That's all you get. Uh, thanks so much for watching guys, I really appreciate it. I also really appreciate the suggestion for this video, I really liked it, I like the way this turned out. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, same way it's spelled here, Bear Scare Beauty. Uh, if you're in one of the discords I'm in, thank you guys so much. Uh, if any of you see this, uh, just thank you guys a lot because I know some of you are my viewers, uh, especially in the Illuminati and Sad Milk Discord, I love you guys. And take care. Uh, I know these are pretty awful times for everybody, but hey, hopefully this killed some time in your day and you enjoyed it. Once again, Colton Bear Scare Beauty. Bye!